Hi. Hi everyone. So welcome back. And today I have taken a very basic question. Okay. Uh, let me directly show you the question only. So yes, this is our question for today. I will make you understand how we can solve this question. Okay. Basically here you can see that you uh, there are few brackets. Okay. So let me first make you understand which bracket is called what okay so let me explain this this bracket is called big bracket all right now this bracket is called as you can see here i'll write down the name here this is called curly bracket all right and this bracket is called small bracket all right, small bracket. And this bracket, this is called, I know you are hearing this for the very first time, but yeah, this is called line bracket. Okay, this has another name also, all right. And we call it as a bar. So we can either call it as a bar or we can call it as a line bracket. Let me make you understand how we use uh, uh, the, these brackets. Or let me tell you in which order we use these brackets. You know Bodmas rule, right? There is a rule, okay? Uh, when you can, like, uh, how you are going to use the bracket, order, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. Same way in brackets also we have a rule. So let me make you understand the rule first. So the rule is you have to give the first priority to the small, not the small bracket. You have to give the first priority to the line bracket, okay? Line bracket you will solve first, okay? So if you are doing any question and you can see that there is a line bracket in the question, solve that first, okay? How you will solve the line bracket, that I'll explain you soon. After that, you have to give the second priority to this bracket, which is called small bracket. Okay. And after this, you have to give the third priority to this bracket. Everyone knows what is this bracket called. This is called curly bracket. And the last one, okay, the last one is this bracket okay so the last preference you have to give to this bracket and this is called big bracket now suppose that you do not have in a question curly bracket then the order will be line bracket small bracket and then big bracket all right so this is how you have to solve so as i said the first priority you have to give to the line bracket the second priority you have to give to the small one and this will be the third one, the curly bracket and this is going to be the fourth one. So this is our priority order. Now let us do quickly our question, which is this one. So just let me remove this, okay? And yeah, we can now start. So we are going to start with the solution. So as you know that here we have all the brackets, big bracket, curly bracket, uh, uh, small bracket and line bracket. So the order says we have to use the line bracket first. And now I'll tell you how we can solve the line bracket. The, to solve the line bracket, the only thing that you need to do is you just need to reverse the sign. Whatever sign is present, you have to reverse it. If plus is present, you have to make it a negative. If uh, minus is present, you have to make it positive. That's it. So here you can see that you have plus sign in the question, right? Now you can solve this uh, line bracket by just converting the sign from positive to negative. So let us do that. And when you are doing it, you have to write down the other things as it is. Okay, that's how you should do it so that you will never get a wrong answer. So we can write down this as 3e e squared minus, this is b squared as it is, this is minus 4, curly bracket, f squared minus small bracket, 2e squared minus. Now we have to solve this one. And as I said, you have to just reverse the sign. 
So this will become f square minus b square. All right. And then we will just close the brackets as it, it was given. Now, the next step is you have to solve the small bracket because that was our priority order, right? So we will just write down this as it is 3e e square because you can see the small bracket is present here, right? That means we have to solve this part first. So 3e e square bracket, big bracket, b square minus 4, uh, curly bracket, f square. Now, can you notice here that all these terms are unlike, right? These are not same. That means we cannot solve it further. So what we can do is we can just remove the bracket here, okay? Now, there is one more rule that if you have a negative sign, uh, you know, before the bracket, any bracket, in fact, then you have to reverse all the sign which is present inside that bracket. So here you can see, okay, here you can see that you have a negative sign outside the bracket and you are removing the bracket now. So what you have to do, you have to change the sign, okay? So let us do that. So this will become minus 2e square. And now because we have removed the bracket, this minus will become plus f square minus will become again plus d square. And then because we have removed our small bracket, so this uh, you know closing small bracket will also be gone. And we will just write down the curly bracket and big bracket. All right. I'm just making you understand each step, you know, uh, you know, in a in a good way, so that you will have no confusion. Okay, so I'm just writing every single step. All right, uh, let us move ahead. So now we can write down this as three e square minus. You can also notice here one thing that now we can solve uh, inside the curly bracket. Okay, can you see that this is f square and this is also f square? So this will become two f square. So let us write down that. So this will become uh, big bracket d square minus 4. And now we are going to solve this thing, which is inside the curly bracket. Okay. So this will become f square plus f square 2f square and minus 2e square as it is and plus d square. All right. And now the curly bracket close and the big bracket close. And now this will become 3e square minus this will become d square minus, you know that you can multiply this four with every number inside the bracket. That is called a uh, distributive law, right? Distributive property. So let us do that. So four into two is eight F square. Also, you have to be, be very careful here because you can see that we have removed the bracket now or we are removing the bracket and there is a negative sign, right? This negative sign is here. That means now this negative sign will become positive, right? And this will become 4 multiplied 2, which is 8 e square. Again, now this plus will become minus. So minus and 4 into d square is 4 d square. And then big bracket close because we are done with our curly bracket. So now we can move ahead to our next bracket, which is a big bracket. Uh, now let's write down the next step. So now what we can do is we can write down this as 3e square minus big bracket. Now you can see here that this is d square and this is minus 4d square, right? So d square minus 4d square will become minus 3d square, right? Because 1 minus 4 is minus 3 and d square as it is. Minus 8f square plus 8e square as it is because we cannot... Uh, do anything with that, right? Now, we can simplify this step, 3e square. And now we are going to remove our bracket, right? And you can see that again, we have a negative sign before the bracket. So that is why if you are removing the bracket, every sign will get reversed. So minus will become plus. So this will become uh, 3d square, right? Yes, and this will become minus minus plus which is plus 8f squared, all right? And this will become minus plus minus, which is 8e squared, correct? Uh, yes, uh, and now this will become, okay, can you notice here one thing that this is basically minus 3d squared, right? So this will become plus. So this is 
okay if you just write down this as c this is 3e squared okay minus i'm just writing this 8e squared first this is a rough work okay 8e squared and then minus 3d squared correct so this is going to be and then minus 8f squared also okay just to get rid of any confusion now this will become 3e squared right and because you know that if you remove uh, the bracket and there is negative sign uh, before the bracket you have to change the sign so this is minus 8e squared as it is and now this minus 3d squared is becoming plus 3d squared but do you notice that here i have written minus only that means there is a mistake also you can see one thing that this is minus here and this is minus and they are getting multiplied we know that minus minus is plus so we can write down this as plus okay it's okay to do mistakes it's not okay to not work on it all right so our final answer is let me just write down this here in red so that this you will understand how we got it as plus 3d squared all right and next this will become 3e square minus 8e square right that will become minus 5e square we can write down later on so we can write down first 3d square okay and then we can solve this 3 minus 8 which is minus 5e square and this will become plus 8f square as it is and we have reached to our final answer okay and because we have reached to our final answer let us highlight it so this is our final answer we cannot uh, simplify this further because you know that we cannot add or subtract it further so yeah this is our final answer i hope you have understood this method okay i'll say the same thing if you have understood it if you have liked my video please subscribe to my channel okay so that's for you thank you so much Goodbye everyone. See you next time.